right guys, this is Beekeeper Charlotte from CarolinaHoneyBees.com and today I'm inside working on some equipment chores. I like to get a fresh coat of paint on my woodenware anytime that I don't have bees in the box. And I have a couple of hives that have lost their colonies for one reason or the other. And this is a good time before spring comes for me to do some maintenance. Now, one of the things that I like to do is have um, a hammer with me and kind of check my seams because over the years of lifting the heavy boxes with bees or honey on and off the hive, in time, you can start to have your corners work loose or break down. So it's a good idea to have a little hammer with you and any time you're going to freshen up your boxes, just make sure that all of your joints are tight. Now, I have some frames in here, it's not for any purpose other than they were just in here. But what I also like to do before I put any more paint on my boxes is I'll take a hive tool and I like to scrape the propolis and beeswax and whatnot off the seams where the two hive will fit together. If I can keep this seam somewhat clean, that will allow the boxes to fit together more smoothly. Now as part of the process, but it's more of a second process for me, I will also take frames and look at the comb and decide if I need to keep it for another season or if maybe it's time to replace it with new wax. I will take my hive tool and I will scrape the propolis off of these little, uh, we call them ears, here on the sides of the frame. Another thing that I like to do before painting my boxes is to clean any propolis that I can out of the seams. Now, over time, the bees will coat the interior of their hive with propolis. And propolis is a sticky plant resin that the bees collect from conifers and other trees. And they mix enzymes from their mouth with this, bring it back to the colony, and they use it to seal the cracks, and it actually sterilizes somewhat the inside of the colony. This is the reason that we don't have to, and really shouldn't, paint the inside of the box. But over time, you will see that the propolis will gather here in these uh, frame rests where the frames will sit. And it can make it really difficult to get your frames back down in there. So when I have a box that is not occupied, I like to take my hive tool, which is a great thing for that, and I will scrape out any of the burr cone that's on the side, and I will clean the, uh, the rest where the frames sit here. And it's kind of messy, so in normal circumstances, do it outside. But with a good hive tool, that propolis will scrape right out of there. Now, some people sell the propolis because there are health care companies that will buy it. But they're really picky about it, and they don't want to have any wood splinters in it, which I can understand. For me, it's not worth the effort, but it is something good that's good to know. Now, after I have scraped out the little rest where the frame set, and I scrape out all my burr comb, I will flip it over, and I will clean that seam on the other side. This shallow super box is in pretty good shape. The seams are tight, and I will have scraped out all the propolis that I can, and the, and the burr comb, so it will be ready to paint. Now, I like to use a good quality latex paint. Uh, it's easy to clean up with water. It's relatively non-toxic. You can use any color that you like. Most people use light colors on their beehives because if the hive is out in the hot sun, it doesn't get as hot. If you have a hive that's white or light blue or yellow, that doesn't get as hot in the summer as if it were brown or black. However, whatever you decide to paint your beehive, whatever color, is completely up to you. But when you're painting your hive, 
be sure to only paint the parts of the box that are exposed to rain because the bees don't care. The bees don't care if we paint the box or not. We are only doing this to prolong the life of our woodenware or to look pretty. And it's okay to paint your hive and have it look pretty if you want to. If I had just two or three, I probably would do the same. So the color on the outside is for the beekeeper and to protect the wood. The bees don't care. Only paint the outside because remember they're going to put they're going to put their propolis on the inside, and so they'll take care of that. Now, after you get your hive painted, it's a good idea to let it dry for two or three weeks before the bees come, at least a week, because we want to get all that smell, the painty smell, out of there before your bees come. It is not a good idea to paint your hive the night before your bees arrive. When it comes to your bottom board and and as I said, this is used equipment that I'm just refreshing. The same principle applies for me. I still like to scrape the seam area. And I paint the bottom of my bottom board. Even though I have my hives up on hive stands, the bottom will still be exposed to some moisture. So I like to put at least one coat of paint on the bottom. When we flip it over, we're gonna paint around the edges that is exposed to the rain. I paint my little landing board right here and then I paint back just a little bit because this area will be exposed to the rain and then the hive body will sit on here. There's no need to, point the, to paint this right here and I might be messy and get some paint there but I don't put it there on purpose. It also encourages the boxes to stick together and that's rather aggravating. Now, most of you probably will use a telescoping top. I'm notoriously messy with mine. Um, I just paint around the edge. And then I do paint this little overhang right here. Because if this is sitting on your hive, if rain, we have a big rain and it comes and it runs down the side, it's going to get up and under here too. So I do paint the flat surface and the little bottom. Now once you get your hive painted, and I would say probably expect to put two coats on it, especially if it's new. Now with this older box that I'm refurbishing, I might get by with only one coat today. In the last couple of years, I have tried to keep my hives within about four basic colors, just personal preference. And so I had another hive that is the same color blue. I'm gonna put a coat of, of paint on that as well so that I will have these all in the same, in the same uh, time frame. Now, I'm trying out some slatted racks this year. I've never been a big proponent of them. I didn't really see the need. However, I hadn't tried them, so I'm gonna give it a shot. The slatted rack will sit here. I need to put it on right side up. The slatted rack will sit here on top of the bottom board and then the hive body and the rest of the hive goes in on there in the same way as it always has. The idea here is that we're giving more open space between the bottom frames of the deep and the floor, raising that brood nest up away from the bottom just a little bit, giving bees more room to cluster inside and possibly encouraging the queen to lay down a little further on the frame. My main interest in them is the fact that my bees are out in the really hot sun. In July and August, it gets really hot, and I will have sometimes a lot of bees hanging out on the front, and that's okay, but we have those big hornets here, and I really hate to see those hornets up there having a good meal on my honeybees. I'm gonna give the slatted racks a test run this summer, and what I will need to do then is I will need to paint around this outside rib here. I don't have to paint the flat here. I don't have to paint anything here. I just need to paint the part that will be exposed to the rain. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an inside view in one of the uh, little tasks that we have to do as beekeepers. Of course, if you have new equipment, you'll be painting it and getting it ready for your bees. But even if you have old equipment, you will want to do this once in a while. This is Beekeeper Charlotte from CarolinaHoneybees.com. Hope you're having a great day.